Hi everybody, welcome back to the Tetrix Roll Bench video series. This is Tim and Tammy, and we are back to cover the installation of our Pulse software. So uh, we've got our computers, and just to kind of set the stage here a little bit, I've got a Mac, and Tammy's got her PC. The platform or the software is multi-platform, so it'll work on either one. We're going to show you um, the steps on a Mac. Um, but the instructions for the PC are part of the guide, right? Right. And there's written instructions for using the PC along with screenshots. So you can follow those uh, to know how to set it up on your Windows machine. Awesome. So we'll have both of those, it, it, depending on what your flavor of computer is, you can do that on either one. Um, there, first of all, let's start, there are three things they need. Right. So the first thing you need to do is you need to download the Arduino IDE. You can go straight to the Arduino website and download the latest version of that software. Awesome. Then they also need a programming library that right. uh, our developer, Paul Etley, has written for the Pulse that will go into the Arduino IDE. Right. And so you can go straight to the Tetrix Robotics website slash uh, Pulse Downloads, and then there you can get the zipped file of the library, and then you actually just follow the instructions and we'll import them right into our, the Arduino IDE. Awesome. And then last but not least, there is the Arduino software from Tetrix that we've right. uh, written specifically to create that graphic drag and drop environment, as well as a connection to the, the text-based coding that they can install uh, onto their computer as well. So they've got three things that they need, right? Right. And the Arduino it's a zip file as well that you just download directly onto your computer. Awesome. So let's go ahead and we'll walk them through the steps. Uh, we told them where they can get the software. We're right. going to walk them through once we've downloaded the zip file, show them how to actually do that onto the Mac. All right. So I've got my Mac open and I have downloaded the zip file. And on a Mac, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, you can download the zip file to wherever you're used to downloading your files. The main thing is to remember where that is. For me, it's on, on my desktop. Some people put it into your downloads folder. Uh, doesn't matter. But the main thing is that when you find that file on a Mac, you just double click on the, the zip. It will extract it. And now I have a folder that I can open up. In my folder, I have the Arju Blockly uh, application. Think of it just like an app that you'd put on your phone, but it's going to run on your computer. And I can simply drag that uh, onto my application folder because that's where I like my apps to live. Um, it will run anywhere on your computer. So if you're more comfortable putting on, leaving it on your desktop, you're, you're welcome to do that. Um, and once you've done that, the RG Blockly is pretty much uh, in installed. It, you'll see it right there in my application. I can run it from there. Uh, so that's all it uh, really takes yeah. to install the application on mm -hmm. uh, the Mac. It's, again, the instructions for doing that on your PC are part of your builder's guide. Right. right? Okay. Yes. And um, on the PC, what I like to do is I did place it on the desktop. And then when you do extract the file, I actually took the run file and created a shortcut right on the desktop so then I can go straight to that to open the program every time. Awesome. Just, you need to make it convenient for you. Obviously, it's like any other application you put on your, your uh, computer. You want it to be convenient. Um, so once we've got the um, Arju Blockly downloaded, we can now go in and set everything up. So... Let's go ahead and walk through that. Okay, so we've got the Arch Blockly downloaded and we moved it into our application folder. Again, on your computer, you put it... Put it on the desktop. So we got a shortcut. So now we need to go ahead and set up the Arduino IDE. You can go ahead and again, the instructions for installing the Arduino IDE, we have those on the Prism downloads, but um, I believe you actually go through that on the Programmer's Guide too, right? Right. Um, I've already done that on a Mac. Again, it's pretty straightforward on a Mac. So my Arduino is actually installed. I'm just gonna launch that. And in my Arduino, um, I am going to go up into my uh, sketch a menu option across the top and I can go to include library and I can choose add a zip library. Now I've downloaded the Arduino Pulse library. Uh, it is on my desktop so I can navigate to my desktop and I can find my Pulse zip 
file that I just downloaded and I can choose that and it tells me right away that it's installed the library. I can verify that by going to my file and examples and I will see at the bottom here now I have a Tetrix Pulse category along with all of the uh, sample programs that Tammy wrote, right? Right. So they are all right here, and we could open those in either the Arduino ID, and you'll also see that in the Arju Blockly, we'll have the same option. Right. And when you open it in the Arduino IDE, again, you're going to see the text-based program for each one of those examples. And then within the programming guide, we will stay within the Tetrix Arju Blockly software and look at them from the graphical programming side. Awesome. So I'm going to go ahead now. I can close my Arduino down because just need to do that kind of basic housekeeping setup. And now I can go ahead and go to my application folder and I can actually launch the Arju Blockly. Now on a Mac, because uh, sometimes you will get a message just like this that says it's an uh, uh, unidentified um, a developer. That's simply Apple's way of saying, hey, are you sure comfortable with uh, opening this application, we'd say OK. And you will probably see the same warning on a PC. Again, just click OK. It's um, no problem to open up that software. So now it is opening up. And you may actually see the Tetrix Arju Blockly logo come up on your screen, and that just means that's loading that software. It just depends on how long that load time will take. So you can see, now I've got my software loaded on my, on my computer and I am ready to go. So we've got everything from our software loaded. We've talked about that it's multi-platform. Uh, we've gone through the setup procedures again for your PC people. Uh, the uh, Windows-based people, it is uh, written. Right. It's written it all step-by-step step out. We just saw how uh, it worked on a Mac. So we are ready to get started, right? Yes. Okay. And so you will see um, within the software up at the top it says examples, and those examples are already loaded into the software, so you can pull up the first activity, getting started activity. Okay, and I'm going to show you that in just a minute, but Tammy's going to uh, step away just for a few minutes. I'm going to go ahead and gather up what we need for the first five getting started activities, and then we're going to be right back. So don't go away, come back, and we'll get right into the activities for the Pulse Programmer's Guide.